Hey there YouTube, Paul Oz here, back once again, and today I'm going to be talking about a plugin called the Humanizer Simple Monsters, as opposed to complicated monsters. I don't know, man. But yeah, so why am I doing this? Why the heck am I talking about this plugin right here? Well, you see, I went to sound design school. Uh, it's called the Vancouver Film School Sound Design for Visual Media Program. What a mouthful, for goodness sake. They could have made it a bit more simple. Uh, and so I uh, can do sound design stuff, like work on TVs and movies and video games, which is really fun. But this is how I get to merge YouTube as well as uh, sound design stuff, where I get to talk about plugins. So here we go. This is a really fun little plugin. Like I said, it's called Dehumanizer Simple Monsters. So with it off, this is what it sounds like, this little crow sound. Now that obviously isn't a friggin' crow. I've done something to it. It's agitated is what it is. Um, I, uh, I've pitched it down. I've stretched it a little bit. But with the dehumanizer on, on the default setting, ooh, I don't like it when I don't have mute. There we go. Uh, with the default setting. It's fucking dark, man. It's evil. So let's play around with it. Let's do that. Now we're getting somewhere. Don't care about stereo spread, we're not in stereo. I don't know why this thing is going nuts right now. But it's already kind of like more interesting. So that's with a dog growl, but you get a lot of other things with this software. So black leopard aggressive throat grunt hiss. What a thing to say. As I turn up the sample playback level, you're actually hearing more of the sample, which is a black leopard aggressive throat grunt hiss dot wave. So it has a, which is kind of terrifying. So that wildness makes things go, which I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of. So I'm going to kill that completely. Increase the character. Now, the only thing that I dislike is that it's a little bit low endy. So what am I going to do about that? Well, we can always put in like a, an EQ or something. That's a little bit more like it. But I still feel like I'm not getting enough. So I'm just going to gain up this clip real, real, real slick quick, right? Okay. So that's just with what I've done with the EQ. So friggin' get out of here, EQ. It sounds... And so now I'm just designing. I'm just having some fun. So that's that. But we can always add more. So, yeah. This is going to be a lot different. This is a vulture. So why do I like vultures? Vultures are friggin' terrifying creatures. Here, I just want to make my selection long enough. So that's obviously a little bit too long. So yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't feel. So see how it's affecting both things now. And it sounds kind of vicious. Without anything. Obviously, when you increase size, it increases that low, which isn't the best. And because there's always already so much rage, this fury, and it makes it even hissier, which I don't really want. That's weird. 
I don't know what you were trying to do. These things freaking out are entirely my computer. So that's my bad. Now we're going to go to a magpie. It just sounds a little bit similar because it's such a high screech. Oh. So there's that high end that I was really wanting in the first place, right? Let me get my friggin' inserts back, please. Hey. Okay. It's because I pressed uh, space bar. Ha. Huh. Let's go. It's kind of creepy. I don't love it, though. It's kind of, like, creepy. An otter close moan that wave. How did they get these recordings? Ah, there we go. See, now I like that a lot. And then from here, we can just print the, the friggin' thing. So, and now I've got my file. So now that I've got that, however, haha, -ha, whoops. Let's bring it up to our next work track and do some crazy crap because we totally can do that. I did not mean to do that. Okay, shift I, yeah. Okay, so first of all, so that's it doubled up upon itself, right? And if I... Ooh, it's nasty. It's a nasty boy. It's because of all the EQing and stuff too, though. So that's the original. And that's without the EQing. It's interesting, right? Like, you can just spend a lot of time. Well, let's go through some more presets because it's getting boring. Space child. See, there's, there's a lot of inflection happening. Nice. Creepy. See, now, even just messing with that a little bit, let's put a walrus growl. That's a lot more scary to me. So we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. These two are muted, by the way. These two are muted. You can see the little red M's. Little red m ms So let's print that together. We can do that by just holding that. Done. Now we've got another version of it. Okay. So this is what we have so far. We start with this. Vulture. An agitated crow. Turns it into that screechy demon. And then added... Small ocean alien? But it turned out. Pretty great, man. Now I'm gonna just gain it up because I wanna hear it in the room a little bit more. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. I like that. So now I did that all across this project and I called things stupid names like sea lion terror. But what else did I do? Let's see. Pretty good. Ooh, nasty. The most fun that you can have with this software is if you're doing your own thing. Uh, yeah, and then Mike. What I mean by that is using your interface so that you've got this thing happening right here. But I really don't want to screw up my life, so I'm going to just remove my output. We're actually going to bust this to the rec bus, rec bus, rec bus, rec bus. And I'm going to just record some stuff, okay? Cool. Okay. Great. All right, so you should be able to hear my voice twice, unfortunately. I'm going to mute myself now, and you're just going to hear me do some death metal growls into the microphone. Micro, 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 Now, because I didn't hear that, oh, let me just shut myself up here. Now, because I didn't hear that, I want to hear that. Okay. Pretty good. All right, the last one's a little distorted. Who cares? That's pretty, pretty uh, awful. It sounds horrendous. I like it. 
So the only other thing I've noticed is that there is a little bit of this impulse response stuff happening. Now, because I'm not an absolute savage, here, let's do this. So I didn't, I obviously didn't use the plugin at full wetness there, but it added a good level of effect. And all I needed to do was basically clean her up. Amazing. And that's so quick. Now imagine if you've got to do some alien voices. Super simple. I mean, that's horrible. And I've learned a lot from death metal. Mostly it's to make horrible noises. Hopefully this isn't clipping anything. Anyway. That's kind of the whole shtick with this. It's so much fun. You can spend so much time doing this stuff. It's ridiculous. All right, that's for the next video, okay? That's I'm not sharing that right now, okay? Okay? Thanks for tuning in. I've been Paul Oz. Cheers. All the best from the uh, Pacific Midwest. What? Where do I live now? Oh, my God. Anyway, cheers, folks.